We are coming uh, to you live from the Kariako crematorium right here in Nairobi County where the cremation process for the late Charles Njonjo has just been completed at around 12.30 a.m. Around 10.30 a.m. and took around two hours. Hence, right now, as we speak, the entire process has been completed. Um, earlier on, we managed to speak to one of the relatives, that is his son-in-law, and he said that the reason was cremated just hours after his death is because he wanted to be cremated uh, just almost immediately after his death. Hence, the family members were here very early in the morning. Actually, he died at his home in Mudaiga, and after that, he was taken to Lee Funeral Home uh, for preparation for interment. Then after that, that's when the family members uh, brought his remains right here at the Kariako Crematorium for his cremation. The late Charles Njonjo died at at around 5 a.m. and the news of his death uh, was, you know, made public by President Uhuru Kenyatta, who said that his death is not only a loss to, you know, his family alone, not only to Kenya alone, but to the African continent in general, because he's, he was one of those people who played a major role in ensuring that the independence of this country was, you know, concrete. He played a major role in uh, matters, constitution and uh, legal affairs. Remember that he was the first, uh, you know, attorney general. Kenya from the year 1963 all the way to 1979 and of course in the year 1980 he was appointed by you know retired and late president Daniel Arap Moy as the cabinet or rather the minister for constitutional affairs in this country uh, you remember, he was also the last uh, rather a member of the cabinet, independent cabinet, hence he leaves behind a legacy that will be remembered by the generations to come. Uh, right now there's not much that is ongoing right here at the Kariako Crematorium. Remember that the process took it around two hours and it was complete at around 12.30 and it, there were not so many activities, there were no uh, you know, many politicians around out of a private affair because it happened almost immediately after his death. Uh, so there's not much ongoing here. Uh, the late Njonjo leaves behind three children and of course he once served as the member of parliament for Kikuyu. He was elected unopposed in the year 1980. Uh, so Nisi to hand it back to you at the broadcasting house. But key to note is that the cremation process has been completed. It started at around 10.30. By 12.30, it was complete. Back to you, Nisio Koth, in studio.